As a consumer, we always focus on end products. For example, in FMCG, the focus is on soap, shampoo, ready-to-eat products, chocolates, cheese, curd, milk, butter, snack, or in pharma, the focus is on medicine. But have you ever observed the packaging of the products? Have you ever thought who makes the packaging? With the ever-increasing usage of packaged food business, your e-commerce business, and your online food delivery, the packaging industry has seen a sharp rise in demand. So in this video, we are going to discuss a company from packaging sector. It is Polyplex Corporation. Hello friends, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. In this video, I have covered Polyplex business including which segment contributes in the revenue of the company, its leadership, its key strength, competitors, key risk and future growth prospect. Then I have covered the financials of the company to understand if Polyplex is fundamentally strong or not. And then I have done the valuation analysis to understand if it is worth investing in Polyplex Corporation at current levels or not. But before I proceed, my videos are only to help you understand the business of the company. I do not provide any buy or sell tips. I also do not provide any entry price or exit price. This video is to empower you with the right knowledge so that you can make an informed investment decision. And in case you also want to learn how to do the fundamental analysis of a stock along with all the important aspect of money management, you can explore my video course. There are 100 plus videos that covers every aspect of money management to help you achieve financial freedom. I also take live doubt solving sessions. By the way, I was recently featured in Joe Stock platform where I shared my journey of how I achieve financial freedom in life. I provided the link in the description box. Also, there was a question that how many stocks should you hold in your portfolio? Well, there is no fixed formula. You can hold as many stock as you can track because it is important to track the performance of stock in the portfolio. So it could be anywhere in between your 20 to 40 stock for a normal retail investor. And that means you don't need to invest in all the stocks that I suggest in my video. Established in 1984, Polyplex is among the leading manufacturer of plastic films or also known as polyester film, that is PET film that are used for packaging purpose as well as for industrial usage. For example, in packaging, its products are used in food packaging like your rice bags, soup powder, candy wrap, easy peeling lead, retort pouch, frozen food, chips packet, ice cream cone, glass bottle and so on. In personal care, its products are used for healthcare category like your soap, shampoo, then carton packaging, air freshener, wet wipes and so on. Within industrial sector, its products are used in electrical devices like solar panel back sheets, wire and cable overwraps, motor insulator, flexible circuits and so on. Some of the other applications include window film, shopping bags, card lamination, medical x-ray, production film, face shield, adhesive tapes, signboards and many more usage. If you look at the business segment wise breakup of sales for FY 2021, 60% revenue of the company is from the thin PET films. So thin PET films have usage in food products and consumer staple. Then coated film contributed 14% in the revenue which basically include your adhesive tapes, lamination film etc. And then Polyplex India has multiple subsidiaries all over the world. If you look at the revenue by subsidiaries by in FY 2021, Polyplex USA contributed 26%, Polyplex India contributed 24% and it is followed with Polyplex Thailand, Turkey and Indonesia. If you look at the leadership of Polyplex, Mr. Sanjeev Saraf is the founder and chairman of Polyplex. Sanjeev is an alumnus of IIT Kharagpur in 1980. Mr. Pranay Kothari is the CEO and executive director of the company. He has been associated with Polyplex since 1985 and has 36 years of experience. In fact, the average experience of leadership of the company is 34 years. Overall, on the company, its business and leadership, I would rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the key strength, Polyplex's first strength is global leadership. Polyplex has reached in 75 countries with 1950 customers. Company has a global presence with multiple manufacturing facilities, warehouses and sales offices all over the world. It has manufacturing facility in India, Thailand, Indonesia, 
Turkey and USA. Then it has warehouses all over the US and Europe. Then it has representative offices in Singapore, Japan, Korea, Turkey and so on. Next strength of the company is vertical integration. Company is both backward and forward integrated where it manufactures resin which is the raw material for its base film as well as it is forward integrated where it manufactures various value added products. Company's third strength is industry leading cost structure. Polyplex is one of the low cost manufacturer globally due to economy of scale, operational excellence, vertical integration and strategic manufacturing location. In fact, Polyplex has near 100% capacity utilization across business cycle as compared to industry average of around 70 to 80%. If you look at the competitors of Polyplex, it include Uflex, Jindal Poly, Eastern Industries, EPL Limited and Cosmo Films. The key risk with Polyplex is that the polyester film sector is cyclical in nature. The profitability of the company depends upon the supply and demand. So if the supply increases and the demand decreases, then there's a fall in profitability. And if the supply decreases and demand increases, there is rise in profitability. Second key risk is that the raw material for polyester film industry is resin, which is a byproduct of petrochemical chain. In fact, the cost of raisin is the single largest component in the total production cost. So raisin cost is dependent upon crude oil prices. Any fluctuation in the cost of raisin would impact the profitability of the company. If you look at the future growth within packaging industry, the fastest growing segment is flexible packaging. It is mainly due to high consumption of food products and consumer staples. Due to rapid urbanization and busy lifestyle, there is more and more demand for packaged food and this would create more demand for the packaging industry. India is one of the world's biggest and fastest growing flexible packaging market with expected growth of around 9 to 10% annually. Then due to boom in online business including e-commerce and online food delivery, there is an increase in usage of packaged food products. Polyplex is growing rapidly and has already planned the expansion for the next few years. In FI21, Polyplex is adding a new BOPP film line in Indonesia. It is expanding its recycling unit in Thailand. It is expanding its blown PP film line in Thailand and Turkey. In FR22, Polyplex is launching a new PET film line in the USA. So, the future growth prospect of Polyplex is looking bright. Hence, on future growth, I would rate it 10 on 10. If you look at the revenue growth in last 5 years, its revenue have grown from 3,202 crore to Rs 4,918 crore. That's a CGR growth of 9%. Its profits have grown from 29 crore to 512 crore. That's a phenomenal CGR growth of 78%. Although profits have been volatile. The reason for volatility in profit is due to supply and demand cycle in polyester film industry and volatility in crude oil prices. Although the profit growth has been fantastic, but the only problem is the profit growth is not consistent. Hence, on growth ratio, I would rate it 8 on 10. If you look at the profitability, its operating profit have consistently increased from 13% to currently at 25%. If you look at the ROE and ROCE, both ROE and ROCE have grown consistently. ROE has grown from 1.2% to 16.8%. ROCE has grown from 3.1% to 27.3%. So currently the profitability is looking very good. Again. The profitability is looking good, but there is a risk of raw material pricing and supply demand shift that can impact the future profitability. Hence on profitability, I would rate it 8 on 10. If you look at the debt levels, Polyplex has significantly reduced its debt from 0.56 to currently at 0.19. Although the debt levels were always under control. Hence on debt to equity, I would rate it 10 on 10. Its reserves have grown from 2289 crore to 3021 crore. It is cash rich company with cash and cash equivalent of 952 crore. If you look at the shareholding pattern, promoters of Polyplex hold 50.97% shareholding in the company. FII have consistently increased the shareholding from 2.15% to 8.38%. DII have increased the shareholding from 4.92% to 6.06%. If you look at the share price movement of Polyplex in last 5 years, the share price has increased from
from 286 rupee to currently at 1420 giving a phenomenal 400% return in last 5 years. In spite of such huge return, Polyplex is currently trading at a P ratio of only 8.6. Its PEG ratio is just 0.11. Both P and PEG ratio suggest Polyplex is looking undervalued. In fact, Polyplex also pays a good amount of dividend to the shareholders. In the last one year, company has given a total dividend of Rs 153 per share. At the current price, that's a yield of more than 10%. Now, how many companies have such high dividend yield? Although, it is not a guarantee that company would continue to pay such a high dividend yield. But the point is that company also rewards its shareholder handsomely with good dividend yields. So, in this video, we discuss the fundamentals of Polyplex Corporation. Polyplex is in the business of polyester film that find application in our day-to-day -day life with packaging of packaged food, chocolate wrapper, chips packet, ice cream box, soap, shampoo, etc. Company has a history of 33 years and has experienced management. It is vertically integrated and has one of the best operating margin in the industry. It has various subsidiaries in Indonesia, Turkey, USA and Thailand and has reached in 75 countries in the world. In the future, there would be an increase in demand for the packaging industry on account of rise in usage of packaged food, rise in e-commerce and online food delivery. Although the polyester film industry has dependence on crude oil prices and the profitability also depend upon the supply and demand. The financials of the company are looking solid with very good growth and profitability. At current levels, company is trading at a P ratio of 8.6 and PEG ratio of 0.11, which makes it undervalued. I hope you will find this video useful. To learn more about stock picking along with money management, you can explore my course. Details are in the description. I will see you with another video. Till then, take care.